Pilot has been a colossal name in the film pen community, not only because of the variety of their products, but also their dedicated attention to details, from the most limited collection to one of their most popular entry products, such as the Metropolitan or the Cocoon that we have on the table right here. In this video, I'll go through some of the history, detail shots, and provide some writing samples, as well as my thoughts on the pen. The Pilot Pen Co. was started in 1915 by Ryosuke Namiki, a professor turned a writing instrument maker, and later on, changed the company name to the familiar Pilot we know and love today. The Pilot Metropolitan was introduced in 2012 and quickly rose to popularity within the fountain pen community, competing for the positions of the best entry-level fountain pen. The pen features a brushed metal cap and barrel with a textured band on the barrel for the International Metropolitan release and a smooth band for the domestic cocoon models. The section is made with a smooth plastic fitted with a Swiss type converter CON20 and a cartridge of Pilot Blue or Pilot Blue Black included in the packaging. The pen overall has some weight to it and it does have the solid feeling of a well-made product. The cap snaps off with a satisfying click and it doesn't become loose after years of use. The pen features a typical Pilot steel nibs and you could actually swap them with other uh, Pilot entry models such as the Kakuno, the Penmanship and the Plumix. It does not give a lot of line variations but the performance has been consistent and it sits well in my hand. Similar to other Pilot pens, I found myself emptying a whole cartridge during the writing of this review. Because of the metal section, can definitely take a lot of beating through daily use. And since the connection between the cartridge and feed is secure enough with generous ink flow, it will surely start writing at any moment you pop the cap. If I were to pick up this Metropolitan again, I could see it being my backup pen that's always in the suitcase filled with a blue-black cartridge and not really have to worry about it anymore. It will always be there and on standby and will only be taken out occasionally for the monthly refill. How about you? I would like to know your thoughts and experience with the Metropolitan. Do you have a Pilot Metropolitan or Cocoon in your rotation. For what kind of writing do you tend to grab them? Do you prefer ink cartridges or a piston converter for this particular pen? And who would you recommend this pen to? Finally, what would be a nice notebook pen ink combo for this Metropolitan? Thank you guys for watching and if you would like to support the making of these videos, there are some extra video links down in the descriptions and you should check them out as well thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one